Hi, in this video I will teach you how to create a character in D&D using my framework for map tools using the compendium. Uh, to open the compendium, click the first icon called compendium and it will op open this window that you can dock anywhere. Um, and from here you can access uh, every class, uh, race, background that you have in, in installed in, in the compendium. Um, to create a character using uh, not not using the, the the wizard so doing it manually you need a token you can name it uh, the name your character Bob um, and with that token selected, open the player menu and click new PC. It will add the uh, changes required. Um, so open the compendium and uh, click click the the header the the title the compendium to uh, refresh. And here is your character. Uh, from from here you can make a token, uh, and this token you can use to play. Um, and open the character sheet, description, spellcasting, um, and you can dock them together like this. Um, okay, uh, to create your character, let's let's pick a race. Um, I will pick human. A background, I will use a client because that's one available for me right now. And a class, I will pick um, paladin. Uh, so, click when you choose your race, you can click move and choose your character from this list uh, you can close this window now do the same for the background and from classes it, it's a little bit different because they have a, a bunch of other features like divide hands, lay on hands so click move on the paladin go down to the Divine Sense and click Move and same for Lay on Hands there is also level 2 uh, features um, uh, optional features um, that you can choose between one um, level 3 and so on you can do the same process when you level up um, you can also from here uh, click settings uh, so open each of the features and click settings and pick where where that come from uh, it doesn't have impact on gameplay but uh, it's it's nice to keep it organized um, notice that uh these fields here they do not update automatically uh, so you can click class and level to add a new class um, and when you level up you can click here and change this to two now just one uh, same for background and race you can add a note um, it, it can be whatever you want uh, and now uh, I should update the ability scores and speed 
and languages. Um, uh, uh, for the, the attributes, you can add a formula here and no, in the notes you can write like um, racial so you can remember where that comes from. Speed, you can click here and if you have flight or swim speed you can write on the notes so it will uh, keep this area clean in languages common and let's say Irish. Um, from Acolyte, you get Insight and Religion. To, uh, to add a skill, click that skill, so Insight, click the, the circle, and select Proficient. You also get two extra languages. Let's see. And equipment so you can open uh, in the compendium uh, adventuring gear and a holy symbol so a helicarry but maybe sticks of incense I don't think I have sticks of incense here so you can add things that you don't have clicking add new uh, I, I click it equipment and selected add new and, and ok and I can say stick of incense it will add and you can click here to add 5 investments I'm not sure you have it here so I have uh, compost, so these ones are in here. Compost. Yeah, yeah, pouch, pouch. Pouch. Containing 15 gold. To add, to add gold, click the gold, the GP and select and write the amount. Um, from class you get hit points, so 10 plus uh, 10 plus your constitution modifier, if you are lazy you can click it and it will show you 12 um, you get armor, you can copy paste the, this armor Weapons. Be sure to um, copy the weapons in the right field uh, uh, because uh, when you get weapons, they will take a proficiency bonus from from here. The, if if you are proficient with them, um, saving throws. Just like uh, skills, you click on the the circle. So we don't have skills. Just like from background equipment just like in the background so I can open the compendium and weapons let's say longsword and uh, shield so armor five units so weapons five uh, packs have a lot of stuff so I will not do it right now but you can check the player's handbook and see what's in these packs and then finally um, uh, paladins get divine sense and lay on hands so these are resources that you can expand so you can click here in resources 
and name it and write the amount so one plus your charisma modifier that makes it four four uses that you can uh, you need to finish a long rest to use that again so it will show here you can use them clicking here and adding numbers or you can paste a formula so plus one and it will update uh, same for Leon hands and you can use all of your other so, so the one is five and it's also a low rest right okay so pretty okay and here is your new resource um to load uh to load your weapons um you can click here load weapons and it will search for weapons in your inventory and search for proficiencies in your of proficiencies and search for the damage and other properties like versatile so uh, it will it, it has two types of two, two damages and when you hover here you can see two-handed and normal um, when you hit level two you get spellcasting right yeah Paladin, paladins get spellcasting at level two so you can come down here and that's your device your fighting style um maybe and this um that's necessarily what you can do is make it clear um and okay. you can just The way this works, uh, so if you go to the spellcasting sheet, um, is it not updated? Charisma, okay. Oh, here it is. So at level two, paladins get um, spellcasting. So it will detect your uh, spellcasting ability, your DC, and your attack bonus so you don't have to worry about uh, these formulas here what you do have to care about is um, how many you can uh, uh, i mean you can cast so paladin at level two um, one level one to choose lots so you can click here in this plus and change it to total two uh, and then you can spend your spell slots here um, let's say and and then to add your spells just open uh, spell lists and paladin spells you can click here to add them this will add them here uh, i will not add all of them because that takes time and paladins don't uh, they need to prepare spells so you deselect all of them and uh, memorize I mean, I think it's for it's um, your paladin level plus your charisma modifier. So four spells you get to prepare. So let's say I get these prepared, and if you go back to the character sheet, you can uh, reload them, and your spells, just the memorized ones, will display here. You can check them quickly. That's it. Uh, your character is ready to use and it's level 2 already. 
good for him. Um, if you uh, liked it, this video, um, click like. If you disliked it, you can click dislike if you want to. Uh, if you have some questions, you can ask them in the com in this video's comments, um, or you can uh, click in this button help and get and see if, if uh, this if your question is already answered if you found a bug you can go to your issues and and add a new one um, and if if you like this kind of video and want to see more of them you can hit it hit subscribe and if you want to support me I appreciate it uh, you can subscribe, you can join my Patreon and from there you can have uh, high quality assets, maps and other, other tools um, and in, in that's it um, in the next video I will teach you how to create custom uh, class, race and the background so see you there